In this video I'm doing another round of copper wire melt tests. For those of you who saw the first test, this is the thickness of the wire that I used the first time. So I'm not going to mic it, but it is substantially thinner and I hope it won't run as drastically. So this is the piece that we're going to put the copper wire on. It's a little over 12 inches tall. It has a crackle on it and I filled the crackle with a red underglaze and then this is dipped in clear. This is uh, kind of a yellow celadon and then the rim is dipped in white. So what I want to do is add the copper pieces to this. Okay, so I have them separated and straightened and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bend them loosely, roughly, in the middle and I'm going to hang them over the edge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that'll be fine. Now what I'm going to do is take this wire see if I can tie them all down. Okay, so far so good. <clears throat> now the next step is to one by one take these out and let them hang like a V. You can see it would have been very difficult to try to hook them into the necklace one at a time but this will make it easier to hang. Now my thought here is to once I see that they're spaced out is to kind of tug on them get them to straighten out and then I'm going to come around with scissors and I'm going to trim them off roughly in line with the edge of the celadon glaze here. I don't want them necessarily touching I also don't want them necessarily out in the air but as long as you can see two lines that have some relation to each other I think I'll be happy. So here's what it looks like before I stick it in the kiln. For the life of me I've just fiddled with these things and I can't get them to lay down. I'm just going to let them fall where they may. My hope is that they'll soften and come down onto the pot but it kind of has a V pattern on each one. Pull them Pulled them a little bit into a b-shape so we'll see what happens well here it is out of the kiln I'm so happy that the pattern for the most part showed up and you can see it really didn't go past this thin clear right here either didn't enable it to flow or more likely just because they're so skinny they just didn't have the the amount of mass to, to really go crazy. But I think that turned out really, really cool. Well, that's it. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Mm -hmm.